This is Rabski. Welcome back to my channel. And today's vlog is something different from the other one, from the previous one, because it's gonna be a cooking vlog. I know some of you requested to make another video for my Brazilian friend. So today he's gonna cook for us something very delicious. This is the pride of Portugal. This is called bacalao kunatas. Because in bacalao, there are so many ways how to cook this one. This time he's going to cook his own version. Bacalao kunatas. Okay, and here he is, the chef. The same t-shirt. Yes. The guys that already have a scene. Okay, let's sit down properly. Okay, now bro. Tell me something about the food that you're cooking for us. This is the best type of bacalao that we're gonna need. Make it louder. <laughs> okay. Why bacalao? Uh, do you like because the food, bacalao? But I think that bacalao is the most famous fish here in Portugal. Yes, yes. That's why bacalao. I've tried this one and it's very delicious actually. It's very tasty. I've tried this one before in disguise. It's very nice. And uh, but the way they cook before is something different. It's like just simple one, like you just put olive oil and some like salad on the top of the of the fish. And I wish that you could cook something different at this time. Yeah. What's your version? Can you tell me something? Some idea? About my version? Yeah. That is the best that you that you had it. How you gonna yes, how you gonna make it compared to other one? Yes. Do you face a time pay? <laughs> How are you gonna make it? No problem, I mean, I This is so difficult to question, man. How can I get me? No, it's like this. You know, I mean, I it's it. step by step. No, yeah, not step by step. Just say, like, I will put something like this, I will put like that, like that. Yeah. Don't worry, I mean, I can't, I can't. It's a different type of bacalao that I'm going to eat today. It's put some energy. With <laughs> a lot of onion, okay. cheese, white sauce and potato chips wow i like the cheese part i like cheese meat. i love cheese meat it's everywhere yes and red yes and, and i tried your um, what do you call this one the brownie and it is so much delicious so why do you like cooking you know i don't like to cook for myself mm -hmm. i am so lazy to do that okay. but when i'm cooking for someone else this one i like i like to see the <laughs> how the the people can, can be happy when they are eating and then say oh this is delicious this this one make me very proud <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah so the same thing as we love to cook but we don't like the taste of our own food yeah. but we like to eat the food of the other people who cook for us yeah. right this is usually good okay so now it's gonna start cooking This is Marjorie. A white sauce. Ah, okay. So this is for sauce. We are going to mix the sauce with the bacalao. But just when we see the the onion, mm -hmm. very good. What is this? This is butter? This is butter. Okay. Because we don't have pan enough. <laughs> you know how to make a white sauce. <laughs> you cannot make this one in the microwave. Just to be clear. Because there is no timing here and there is no temperature, right? Yes. Is that the reason? In the, in the weather, it will not come in 360 degrees. 
is just from the bottom. Mm. This is the problem. But you can make a good brownies. Yeah, because brownies, yes. we cannot always cook it. Mm. So you mix the uh, flour on it, right? Yeah. And a little bit of milk. Yeah. So fresh milk. You need to use fresh milk. But if you have, there is no problem. And this one? I don't know how to say this one in English. Ah, cinnamon. No cinnamon. I hate cinnamon. <laughs> you didn't tell me the next step. You are going to remove. Ah! You are going to remove the fish in this way. Yes. I don't want the, the cut fish very small. Mm. Ah, there is too I'm much not... bones. Guys, there is too much bones in it. So that's why you have to remove. If but you want to eat no. the bonus, no problem. Yeah, no problem because it's big <laughs> bones, right? You can remove it by yourself. trying to put everything without telling me. Anyway, you add already that the fish, fish, right? Yeah. And um, the cut fish. Fish, this is my first time to hear about this fish. <laughs> this is the name of the fish, Makalao. Okay. And he makes this uh, potato chips, right? This is a potato chips. Yeah. Add more in this. So one packet of potato chips. and add the sauce. This is the white sauce. The one that we uh, cooked before. But one liter. Ah, okay. Oh, so creamy. This is uh, cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. I like to cook this. It's very nice. But, <laughs> but you're very thin. You know, you know what I like to cook yeah. when when someone try to. I don't like to cook for myself. Okay. I like to cook for someone else to eat. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I get it. And then the the other people can try and and make oh this <laughs> one so delicious and I make very proud of me. <laughs> exactly. It's I also like I am very lazy to cook for myself. <laughs> it's also the same as yeah. you don't like the that's taste. Why, that's why you see every night <laughs> me making bread with cheese in him. <laughs> but your brownie is very tasty. Oh, but it's also very easy to cook. I like orange cake. Ah, okay. okay. Apple pie. Apple, apple pie. pie. It's very famous here in Portugal. Really? I've never tried that. <laughs> it's the, the best thing that I do. In a pan, or what do you call this one? It's a container. Okay, so the next step would be to put it inside the oven. What about the smell? How about the smell? Fantastic. But before you put anything, just the fish, the smell is all disgusting. <laughs> you get the point? Mm -hmm. 
and put a bread, uh, bread, 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 bread crumbs on the top of it. So yeah, I like very cheesy. The cheese is expensive though. This is not cheesy for you. What did you tell me? The cheese that you got is not cheesy. <laughs> Which cheese is the best for you? Which coming from? There's so many type of cheese. Let me do one. What is it? I told you. Really? Now it's time to bake it. It's time to bake, bro. Bake. And our oven is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh manual oven. <laughs> not automatic. It's not electrical. It's like a... So we have to sacrifice every time we. That's why I don't. I don't. I'm not interested to learn for baking. <laughs> because of this oven. <laughs> This is the thing that I, I should buy, not a TV, an oven. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to, we need to put, uh, what do you call this one? To make a lot of effort, just to make it working. It's time to put it now. Good luck. <laughs> it will take how many minutes? Maybe 20. Only? So we have to wait it guys until it will be cooked. And that's the last step. It's the last. So guys, we're well done. We're eating right now here. <laughs> so now it's the, the rice. The rice. Huh? Where's the rice? The rice, where is it? Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a little bit. What, what, are you? <laughs> what about our rice? You can it? You are saying something wrong. There is no though? flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, he said that our rice is. Uh, I know one time he told me, How can you eat the rice? Because it's all white color and there is no anything on it. Usually, the Brazilian people and the Portuguese people, when they cook rice, they have to put something on it. Like uh, like tomato, um, something like that, bro. Yeah? Tomato. And how are you gonna cook it? You put water? Mm -hmm. And uh, just boil with it, along with it, tomato, something like that. But as long as it's not plain, you have to put something inside it, right? To make the taste. But in our case, the Filipino, when we cook rice, we just boil it in the rice cooker, put water, <laughs> and that's it. Very lazy rice. <laughs> and this rice, he put some tomato in it. It's the fresh tomato, bro, or just tomato sauce? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. And you put salt also? Mm -hmm. Usually, we Filipino only eat rice, a plain rice, because in Middle East also, when they cook rice, uh, they have to mix some turmeric and uh, they have to mix the chicken also. And the rice is very, very tasty. Oh my god. Bro, it's a big problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> and now I will try the, the bakalawa, eh, bakalaw. Wow. The taste is very nice. Um, it's not salty, creamy, cheesy. I love it so much. So guys, come on, let's eat. Masarap. <laughs> what, masarap? Actually, he can't speak some Filipino words. Like for example, what bro? Masarap and? The other Salamat. one, not Salamat. the bad words. <laughs> Salamat. Okay. Tumahimika. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Another. Now I just want. I this just, is I just for, know this the is, best things. This is for fighting. Only <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> this word you get from fighting. <laughs> By the way, guys. Um, Igor before he worked in a cruise ship, okay, but I don't want to make so much uh, story about his life here. With a lot of Filipino. With a lot of Filipino guys, that's why he can speak some Filipino. And um, how many years, bro? You, you worked there for two, two years? years? Two years. Yeah, he worked for two years. And that's why he 
he knows so many Filipinos from there and he learns some Filipino words. But I'm not going to make that uh, all the details here because I will make a separate vlog for that, okay, like a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. <laughs> so this is not the right time for that. So anyway, we are enjoying the food. And this one compared to the other one that I tried before is very different because Which one is the best? there is more cheese in this. Which one is the best? <laughs> so I have no choice. <laughs> I have no option. This one is very cheesy compared to the other one. The other one before is like more in oil. And I need to, to remove all the bones from that because they did not remove the bones from the fish. But this one you have to eat it like... Uh, you know the, 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 the patata, the baked patatas? Like it's very creamy, very soft and everything. Flavorful. So... Perfect. Bacalao is very famous here in Portugal. Like if you are going to visit here in Portugal, so you cannot leave Portugal without trying this one first. And there are so many varieties of the, uh, the cooking for bacalao. Okay. And uh, can you see another one, another type of uh, bacalao? Do you remember? Bacalao a Gonzales Silva. Bacalao a Gonzales. Okay. And this one is bacalao, which I mentioned before. When we cook, conatas. Bacalao conatas. Conatas means? Very English. creamy cheese. All the tourists, when they come here, this is what they are looking for. So, before I didn't want to try it in the restaurants because it's so expensive, by the way. Like the one I eat before, it's mm -hmm. worth 15 euro. Can you imagine for just very small piece? It's worth 15 euro. And this one is worth how much all you buy? 15. 15 and it's one very big pan. <laughs> Yeah. So guys, that would be all for today and I hope there will be more cooking show that he will cook for us Okay, and maybe in the future he can also sell online <laughs> And we can make business <laughs> Right? Wrong <laughs> So that would be all guys See you next time. Say hi. Bye. Bye. See you next time See Don't forget time. to subscribe his How channel <laughs> How can I say? In the Filipino. See you next time. Sao ulitin. Sao ulitin. Say it. Sao ulitin. Sao ulitin. Palam. Palam. <laughs>